you like new cool things? Watch this craft hack selection to find fresh ideas for your DIY projects. Today, we'll prepare a nice handmade birthday scrapbook. We'll need white paper, color cardstock, patterned paper, tags, ribbon, and white glue. Place a square cardboard in the middle of the white paper edge. Trace the pattern. We need a strip of the pattern width. Put the ruler to the side opposite the edge and draw a line. Measure out 2 eighths of an inch beyond both sides of the central square on the top and the bottom. Join the marks. Cut out the wide strip. Put the ruler on the lines and score them with an empty ballpoint pen. Fold the scrapbook. The cover is nearly ready. Place the pattern next to the outer scored line in the right part of the cover. Trace the right side. Cut off the excess. Close the scrapbook. Turn it over. Mark the left edge. Cut off the excess. Put the pattern to the corner of the white paper. Trace it. Draw a line across the edge at the pattern width. Cut it out. Zigzag fold the strip to make pattern width pages. Prepare two of the same elements. Add glue to the last page. Attach to the second zigzag fold. Add glue to the last page again. Attach to the central part of the scrapbook. Let's decorate the scrapbook. Embellish the pages with the patterned paper. You can choose any theme you want. The white background is very convenient as it can match any color and pattern. Decorate the back. Fold the pages and attach theme tags on the front. Done! Close the scrapbook. We have chosen bright paper for the cover. Now add the patterned paper. The ornament is quite distinct and bright. That's why we can omit the embellishments. Cool! Add happy birthday wishes. The ribbon always looks festive as gift wrapping. Let's add it to the scrapbook. Wrap the corners to cross the ribbon on the back. Tie a bow. Add several photos for the birthday person, and your wonderful handmade scrapbook will become a pleasant birthday gift. In this video, we'll show you how to make a scrapbook photo album. Lay A3 cardstock horizontally. Mark 3 8 inches from the edge. Fold up to the mark. Measure out 3 8 inches from the other side. Fold in the same way again. Now the scrapbook will open neatly and easily. Take patterned paper and make pockets. We need two squares. Lay the paper horizontally. Mark 2 8 inches from the edge along the three sides. Use a ruler and a pencil. Fold across the marks. 
Make a smooth flat crease. Repeat for the second piece. Add some glue to the folded flaps. Use a brush to make it neat. Attach the pocket to the right side of the base. The top of the pocket is loose. Attach the second detail to the left side. We have placed the pockets at the lower part to have enough space for the pictures and decoration. Done! The pockets are placed on both sides of the inner part of the scrapbook. Let's decorate the album. You can use any cutouts of the pictures printed out from the internet. We have chosen a whale as the main character of our decoration today. Fill the empty space by making a collage. Now, let's decorate the right side. We can use shells, buttons, beads, and other embellishments. Start attaching the elements. You may use a brush. Attach the shell with multi-purpose glue. Decorate the front side. Place colored cardstock on the patterned paper. Put a bright picture composition on top. Glue the paper. Make corner cuts on the cardstock to put the picture in. Use a craft knife and a ruler. Don't forget to lay a cutting board. Like this. Continue attaching the details. The front side is ready. We need more cards to put the photos in. You can measure out the cuts. Mark the equal spacing from each side edge. Place the ruler. Cut down. Make a few more cards of different colors. Now, let's decorate the cards. You can use dry flowers, letters, and other embellishments. Attach non-paper elements with multi-purpose glue. Cool! Okay, we can place the photos. You can put any notes, photos, and cards in the pockets. Perfect! Any pictures kept in this wonderful scrapbook photo album will be special. You can keep your favorite photos in a beautiful way. Let's make a cute kid scrapbook featuring a funny stylized boy and girl faces. We'll need color cardboard and paper, patterned paper, scrapbook tags, and embellishments. Draw two small circles on beige cardboard to make kids' faces. Cut them out. We'll need smaller circles. You can either make them with the circle puncher or cut out using scissors. Make an oval shape to form a nose. Add some paper glue. Attach the nose to the center of the face. Attach protruding ears for a funny look. Draw a hairstyle on color cardboard. One of the characters is a girl. Choose a hair color and style you want. We've made dark bangs and two ponytails. Cut it out. Attach eyes. Make the bangs more natural by adding some details. Attach the hairstyle. Now the pupils. You can draw some details like a smile and some freckles. 
Make the boy's face in the same way. Change the hairstyle though. Attach the hair. Place patterned paper to the front cover. Add a tag. The kids will occupy the central part of the cover. You can use double-sided foam tape. Use multi-purpose glue to attach non-paper elements. Attach a tag to write a wish. Add some more embellishments. Fold the blue paper accordion style with a one inch pleat width. Glue a pleat. Attach a page. Continue making a page part of the scrapbook in the same way. Add the glue to the pleat's edge. Attach the accordion to the back cover. Glue the front in the same way. Done! We've made an amusing kids scrapbook to keep photos, notes, and kids drawings. Today, we'll make an unusual mini photo album. We need white paper, compasses, thin ribbon, wrapping or scrapbooking paper, and white glue. Take a white paper sheet and draw a circle using a compass. Draw the circle near the edge to fit other elements on the paper. Cut out with scissors. Place the cut circle on the paper and trace. We need four equal details. Cut it out. Take a circle and fold it in half. Unfold and crease again. You can crease the fold with a ruler. Unfold. The creases divide the circle into four equal parts. Take the scissors and make a cut along the folding line towards the center. Make another cut. Leave an extra space to the left from the folding line. Cut out the corners of the flap. Fold the cut part of the circle. Crease the half of the quarter behind. One element is ready. Make three more details from the cut circles by following the same steps. When the basic elements are ready, you can start making decoration details. Use a cut piece as a pattern. Place the pattern onto the wrapping paper and trace. Cut it out. Place the detail to see how it fits. Cut out a couple of other embellishments. You can use different paper. Now attach the details. Take a basic element, Add a line of white glue onto the flap, fold, and glue. The circle should turn into a triangle. Make the other elements in the same way. We have four of the same details. Now we should put them together. Add white glue to one element. Place the second one on top and press down. Add the glue over the surface and attach the next one. And the last one. Decorate the album. Attach the cut details to the walls inside. Embellish each division. You can glue pictures here later on. Take patterned paper, 
Turn over the sheet and trace the album twice to get two equal elements. Cut them out. Wrap the album with a ribbon, leaving loose ends on both sides. Cut off the excess. Carefully add multi-purpose glue to the ribbon and attach it to the album. Complete the decorating by sticking the triangles cut from bright color paper to the low sectors. Use white glue. You need to embellish the front sides. Attach the pattern paper elements to the album covering the ribbon. You can add a bright accent. Take scissors and color paper and cut out something abstract. Attach with white glue. Add the finishing detail. The unusual mini paper photo album will become an original gift for a close friend to keep forever the best moments of life. In this tutorial, we'll show you several scrapbook page ideas. We'll need color cardstock and paper, patterned paper, photos, embellishments, double-sided foam tape, and multi-purpose glue. Take the white cardstock and mark off strips approximately 2 inches in width. Use a ruler and a pencil. Cut it out. Three strips of different length will be enough. Draw triangles at the ends of the cardboard strips to make them look like V-cut ribbons. Cut them out. Let's start the decoration. Place the cardboard on the patterned paper and trace. Cut it out. The paper strip can be a bit smaller than the cardstock. The paper should be of the cardboard shape. Cut out the triangles at the other end. Make another strip from the paper with a different pattern. Attach the paper to the cardboard. Cover the decorative strip with white glue using a brush. Attach it to the center. Join another strip with the appropriate cardstock. Attach the photo to the widest cardboard element. Keep in mind that the photo is the center of the composition, so the decoration should emphasize it instead of blending into the shade. Choose the unobtrusive paper ornament to underline the major element. Add some warm words or wishes to the other paper strips. Be careful to use white glue when attaching paper elements. You can use various embellishments to decorate the scrapbook pages. The elements should match and highlight the idea. This is the main thing. Attach plastic, wooden, and other non-paper details with multi-purpose glue. Take the double-sided foam tape. Attach three pieces of tape per strip. Don't forget to remove the protecting cover. Attach the paper strips to the square base. Put the photo element in the middle to be the center of the composition. Let's make another page. Take brown cardboard for the base. The sizes are random. Choose the background. Take the paper with the unusual pattern of a ragged piece of imitation plywood. Trace the cardboard on the appropriate fragment, shifting the cardstock over the paper edges to get a smaller square. Measure out an inch from the edge and cut off the excess paper. Cut out the square. Cover it with white glue using a brush. Attach it to the center. 
When you choose the elements of the page, keep in mind that they should become the appropriate background to emphasize the photo as the major detail of the composition. Attach a smaller monochrome dark burgundy square to the ragged imitation plywood. Stick pale pink herringbone patterned paper of the same size on top of the burgundy element. Place it aslant to avoid a too official look. Place the photo aside. Put a note paper or a quote next to it. We have left some space for it. Add a few embellishments using multi-purpose glue and complete the decoration. Start with the third scrapbook idea. Let's decorate the baby photos. Place them on the cardstock first. Cut out the cardboard a bit bigger than the photos. Add a strip of paper with the appropriate ornament. Attach the details with white glue. Make ribbon-like stencils. Take a 1-inch paper strip. Cut it out into two different parts. Draw the V-shaped cut from the end. Cut off the excess. Place the strip stencil to the patterned paper and trace. Cut it out. It's better if the strips are different. Make several pieces from various types of patterned paper. Choose a bright background to the photos. Prepare the base. Attach patterned paper of a smaller size to the cardboard square. Now attach the paper strips. Make two compositions using two or three various strips. As there is a pale background and details of delicate shades, we have chosen the bright dark cardstock to emphasize the photos. Now add the major elements. Attach the baby photos to the cardboard aside for a funny look. Use multi-purpose glue to attach the embellishments. We have made three different scrapbook pages. You can either continue and craft several albums or keep them individually as a good substitution of a usual frame. Leave your comments, hit the like button if you liked the project, be sure to subscribe to the channel to see our new DIY tutorials about other scrapbook ideas and card making.